and we are back. Uh, Nimrin Deer rejoining Helwig and the crew for some more Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. When last we left our heroes, we had uh, departed the mansion of Olga's Gwurm, and we're going to try to collect some potion slash food reagents, and our hero was nearly killed by a giant bug. Um, so... It, like I said, sort of a sunk cost thing. It feels like not going to acquire these uh, reagents just, you know, doesn't make it worth. And I collected an eyeball. That's, uh, I should have known. I mean, it said it was a ritual, right? That's not, yeah, that's not good times. Um, all right, so on our way, I was going to say there's a cultist here. We kind of want to go up to the uh, Blackwing Library. That's our goal scared to death to do it because you know i'm going to run into random encounters like i can't you know i think it's like one an hour like you make like a stealth check an hour or something yeah so no time for debates and we have a random encounter because of course we do um and the one person i kind of want to go first is dead last and after the monster in question so uh, so here's how we're going to handle this. I'm actually going to make him come to me. So, Helwig's going to come over here. And we're going to attempt to demoralize this guy. So we have feared him. Good. Which is, yeah, we're just basically trying to debuff the daylights out of this clown. Um, alright. So that's his turn. Uh, Lan... Yep, usual, the wrong mark. usual routine, of course. You know, two die rolls, and combined they total up to an 11. Awesome. That's that's what we want out of our uh, frontliners, right? Um, okay. So. So, yeah. We're going to move... Sela over here, I'm hoping that the Shear is going to target one of the two of them. Pr really, hopefully, Sela, but, you know. Um, Ninio, you're out of, like, everything of value here, Mind so get, fire your crossbow and see if, yeah, no damage because of their DR. Yeah, that's fantastic. Um, you move. I meant to toggle it over to a move action. Oh, well. Um, so, Camellia... I don't know who he's going after, so I'm just going to do Misfortune on him. He failed his will save. That's useful. And uh, then I'll move her up this way between the two. And here's hoping he's not going after my squishy mage that I left by, my, that I left by herself. He charged and missed. Uh, so, awesome. So, uh, Ember. Yeah, let's five foot step you away from this guy. And now that he's Misfortuned... Um, Go to sleep, please. That'd be great. Yeah, that's what I was hoping for. So, yeah. Because I'm not... I'm not in the mood for it. Can I coup de grace this guy? Yes, I can. Bye, Sheer. Yeah, that was... Uh, yeah, I was not... Yeah. I'm, I'm out of patience at this stage. Like, I'm not above using cheese, given what this game is going to drop on my face. So, uh, anyway. So, we will uh, quick save as we try to make our way to the library. Whoa, Lead why on. were we going... So oh, that's right. Check the cheer. Glad I missed that. So, check for loot. It's a masterwork bardiche. Okay, yep. Yeah, I can still pick it up, I think. It is no trouble. Yeah, because, yeah, that, like, see, these random encounters, like, they don't even have loot in them. It's like... And here I am on the world map again, yet another random encounter. Again? Oh, good gracious. This is... More bugs. All right, well, here, let's come over this way and open. stab a bug. Huh. Yeah. At least those aren't... At least this, there, there's not a gigantic fiendish one this time. That's a little helpful. Um, Lan. You've the wrong Sweet. Mongrel. Okay, thank you, Lan. 
All right, two things down. Awesome. Uh, that's kind of what I was hoping for. Uh, all right, so. Mind over muscle. A bright future. Even Ninio, that. W why did you stop me for this game? Um, okay. One more try for some reagents. One more load screen. <sighs> okay, so we are back in the world map. I forgot to save after that, so I'm going to try to click save here. Because um, we've already run into two random encounters. Like I said, um, Alcat, if you make another game like this, I really do recommend that you turn down the frequency of random encounters. This is aggressive. Um uh, like the cool bits are getting lost in the le in the waves of wave after wave of combat. Um All right. I got like a rabbit's foot and some other stuff. Awesome. I would complain kind of like I did about that ritual from the last video, but I shouldn't say the last video from this video, whatever. Uh, but uh at least this time around, like, you know, it's on the way. It's not like I actually made my travel time longer. So it's going to take an hour to get to the library. There's almost certainly going to be another random encounter. Like, I got, like, two inches on the map. And a random... A bunch of marauders. Okay. Fantastic. Um, they're all... Are, I love that the one who just shot at me is, like, literally wearing, like, a raccoon mask. Like, like freaking... Robin. Okay. Um, Ember. Like I said, yeah. Make a clown go to sleep. Um, that place like said, yeah, I'm no more, no more Mr. Nice Nim. This is aggravating. Um, okay. So. Then move over this way. Yeah, that's good. All right, Sela, move up here. Because weirdly enough, these archers don't seem to think about attacks of opportunity. So this guy may very well try to shoot an arrow at Hellwig and get the murdered in the process. My blade. Um, we'll see. Hey. Okay, he's no longer sleeping, but... uh. The yep, there goes there goes Robin. Sorry, their friend. They're both they're both un, yeah they're both out of commission. The their their piano playing careers will never take off again. Um, Nenio, sure. You're irrelevant. Yeah, I mean you're not gonna be able to hit him because you're a wizard. But um, Camellia will run baby? up and shank him <laughs> for two big damage. Um, now Hellwig. Stop! We'll do 25, and we've mulched the random encounter. Um, is that a masterwork bow? It's a composite, so it's worth money. Um, okay, and I guess I got to walk over here for to get to get the bag from the other one since he got like blown into the you know hinterlands. Okay. Well, I took the leather armor by mistake. Okay. All right. Well, let's see here. Out of curiosity. Yeah. I was just curious if the defenders are, like I said, if I would actually go through this way. But no, there's clearly that. That's just right out. We have to use Market Square. All right. Well, let's see if we can make it to one hour. Oh, we found a lost bag. Um, no, yeah. No, I'm, 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 I'm a little, I'm a little travel shy at the moment will I, it is a nice touch that when you go across these like rifts or whatever that you slow down that's kind of cool in terms of how you're moving but anyway and uh y'all are welcome for my cutting out all of these things i'm glad i've learned to use some editing software so y'all i don't have to find like feel obligated to talk through a bunch of load screens this is insane but anyway so we're at the library and we can see some people over there. I don't know what's going to happen with that. But the library looks like it's kind of been chopped in half, which is not good. Pay attention. We found something. Yep. Thanks, Elwig. Um, there's... Is that a trash can? Uh, 
so. Investigate the trash can. Barrel of flammable alchemical substance. Lead on. Uh, what? Hellwig, why are you running up in front? Okay. A stocky knight with a head of messy black hair stands before me. His armor spattered with blood. He greets me with a deep, booming voice. Ha! Crusaders! Excellent! Pardon me. <coughs> I am Captain Caleb Sazamal, and these are my men. I am about to burn these vile backstabbers and heretics here, these pathetic imitators of the trailer, traitor Arilu, who tricked their way into the ranks of the Crusaders. The knight nods at a heap of severely beaten people and a strange elf whose appearance seems jarring for some unknown reason. Sazamal bellows threats at his prisoners, who seem to be in a state of deep shock and utter terror. A strange feeling rises up within me. It's pure instinct. You don't know what you're about to do, but you're certain that it's right. Um, take a, uh, take a closer look at the Ruthless Crusader. <laughs> Caleb is talking too loudly, all while casting sidelong looks at me. I've seen similar behavioral quirks before, in Liars. Um, <laughs> Yeah, that's, uh, uh, let's make the lore check. Examine their armor and the symbols on it. Oh, I succeeded at the lore check, too. Okay. So I noticed that the emblems on the armor of the two silent crusaders belong to the Order of the Flaming Lance, but Caleb's armor bears the sigil of the Order of the Sunrise Sword. Strange, then, that he introduced himself as their captain. Something's not right here. Um, well, I'm clearly not going to burn them. Um, why, why do you want to burn them? The warrior howls like a wild animal. Look around you! The city is in burning ruins. So many innocent lives lost. And all because of abominations like these here. Cultists, heretics, and spies slipping into our ranks, carrying out the orders of their brutal masters and preparing a heinous death for us all. They want to give us over to the demons, just like Arilu did with Sarkoris. They deserve to feel the flames licking at their legs. You come up with nasty words to use against people. You call them heretics, cultists, spies, so you don't have to call them people. Good people just like you. You feel bad for doing this to people, but not to heretics. Without those words, you wouldn't be able to burn them. Um, what happened to the library? Yeah, there's like a big old, like there's a big hole. Demons showed up and carried everything off. I wasn't here to see it myself. I was fighting in the square. But these filthy traitors told me everything. My fists made them quite chatty. So, so, so what, you tortured them? Do you think those methods are worthy of a crusader? Under ordinary circumstances, no. But look around. The city is burning. Now is not the time for squeamishness. Um. To be honest, if this didn't say that it's lawful, which, I mean, you know, smile politely and nod, but then suddenly punch the nearest soldier. Um, but this feels fun. I've got a, this strange instinct. So, uh... And it apparently has another mythic path available to me, so um, I'm going to give in to this strange instinct. Idiots! Stop! Heed my command in the name of... Baphomet. Words fly out of my mouth before I can even think them. Some gut instinct told me that this was precisely what needed to be said at the moment. The words hit their target. The crusaders jump in surprise and look at each other in terror. Caleb leaps to attention and barks out, Sorry, couldn't have known. We'll fix it right away, sir. An inexplicable feeling of rightness flows through me. I enjoy seeing the look of oafish terror on the faces of the crusader and his lackeys when I rebuke them for their fecklessness. That's fecklessness with an E algorithm. Um. Anyway. Um. <laughs> report. Who are you? Um. The Crusader's eyes bulge in fear as he barks out, Caleb Sazamal, former knight of the Order of Everbright Crusaders, deserter. These two are my mates from playing cards, local fences for stolen goods, reliable men. We set an ambush and caught three, no, four Crusaders. We wish to join the ranks of the triumphant army of the world wound. Good lads, brave fighters. We could do with more like you in the cultist ranks. Then our victory would be assured. Way to go, Lan. You, you snuck in a quip, but it sounds legitimate. Thank you! I do my best! <laughs> Caleb watches Lan with rapt attention, his eyes lingering on Lan's horn. 
Yeah. I must admit that the rationality of this individual should be questioned and subjected to thorough study for the purposes of establishing the existence of sad rationality. What? Yeah, no, um... Yeah, so, uh... <laughs> foul snout. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and go with this in the interest of time here, so... Stop wasting valuable fuel! If you like burning books, go rig the Grey Garrison Library. Our enemies might try to sneak in there. Step to it! There's plenty more where that came from, sir. I'll do everything you've ordered, and just as soon as those crusaders arrive, they'll be dead meat. I'll go make sure that we get another... No, no, make it another two barrels of alchemist fire from the storeroom. Things are gonna burn right up in there. Uh, okay, that was... That was legit fun. Okay, so those guys are gone. Um, we'll quick save, because... Pretty sure we've got the storyteller here, so... And we've got some looting to do. Particularly love that after that we walk the other way from these guys. Um, so we have a scroll of enlarged person, a regular old comma, some gold coins, meteor dust. Sure, that's fine. It is no trouble. What's this? The great library of Canabras has been ravaged and wrecked in the most barbaric way. It seems that someone took perverse pleasure in smashing lamps and furniture and tearing pages out of books. On my way. I suspect there were Abracandaloos here. That's usually what would happen, right? Um, so yeah, I'm, I'll pick up some books. We gotta save the books. That's, you know, that's... It's very important to save the books. Um, and the scrolls of Reduced Person, some coal, some magical padded armor, some slimy skin, padded armor of focus. Okay. Concentration checks. I don't know how concentration works in this system when it comes to you know, taking simple. damage or whatever while you're in the middle of casting a spell or something. Um, yeah, so like after the somewhat underwhelming last book I, I picked do. up, I'm a little antsy about stopping and reading books in front of y'all. So, um, yeah, we'll just collect these for now and see if, you know, it triggers anything. Um, Lead on! But before now what is that? Uh, a book. Yeah. So Knowledge Arcana, 24 DC, okay. A success worthy of praise. Some monstrously large demonic blade fell upon the library, splitting the ruins in two and leaving an enormous black scar. It's possible that Descari himself was the one to destroy this building with his terrifying scythe, Rift Carver. Okay. Bookcase is full of text describing demons and methods of fighting them. Regrettably, all this knowledge was enough to save Ganabras from the spawn of the abyss. Is that a trap? It might be a trap. It is no trouble. Is it a trap? It's not a trap. How to make money during the war against demons? It's yeah. Stunning barrier scroll, a regular old dagger. Yeah, that can stay. On my way. Stuff. This is simple. So now these guys will probably, after all this, now I'll you know free the you know we'll we'll deal with the storyteller here. So maybe. I don't know why I'll I can't. I can the game is not letting me. Uh, there we go. Praise the Almaday! We're saved! You came just in time! Um, a blind elf stands before me. He looks extremely strange. His face we wears its ears heavily, which is unusual for members of his race. Thinning gray hair, a ragged beard, sightless milky eyes, pale papery skin covered in age spots, spine curved by the passage of time. This is not how elves typically age. The youth that graces the faces of elves, even on their deathbed, has totally abandoned this decrepit specimen. Wow. Don't hold back, game. He can take it. Um. <laughs> Thank you, Camellia. That is an elf. With a beard. I guess the worst can be found even among the best. Camellia is not into facial hair. T point taken. A bearded elf! How very intriguing! If you please, I would like to pluck out a hair of that phenomenon manifesting on your chin. In the interest of science, of course. 
The old elf holds out his hand in my direction in the perennial gesture of the blind, greeting me with an unexpectedly strong and calm voice. Hello, I am Storyteller, and I wish to thank my rescuers. That is you, if I am not mistaken? Um, who are you? The old elf frowns. I prefer people to call me Storyteller. It very accurately describes the sphere of my occupations and interests. In most of the places I've been, I am known by that name. When I was little, my mother and father used to tell me stories. But I have no one to tell me stories now. Sometimes Grandma does in my dreams, but I always forget them in the morning. Can you tell me a story? The corners of the blind elf's mouth slowly creep upward. For you, I may have a story to tell. But perhaps it is you who has a story for me. Um, I want to talk to you about something. The old elf responds with dignity and courtesy, but firmly. And thanks for my rescue. I, of course, will render you a service in turn, whatever it may be. However, at this moment, I wish to be somewhere safer than the present surroundings. My recent adventures have fatigued me greatly. I would be grateful if you could help me to a safe shelter of some kind. The stubborn set of the elf's mouth tells me he won't change his mind, so I guess he's going to Defender's Heart. Please accept my sincere thanks once again. And if I may, please don't rush. I will struggle to keep up with your young legs. He lowers his voice slightly. And I am not the only one thankful to you. That young crusader over there is eager to give his regards, but he is too shy to approach you. I can tell from his quickened breathing. When we reach a safe place, take pity on the lad and accept his thanks. The young man with aristocratic features wipes the sweat from his brow and gives me a courteous bow. Allow me to introduce myself. Rather claim at your service. Thank you for helping us. I thought we were doomed to perish. There's death everywhere here. Sometimes I think we're all doomed, but then death has passed us by, and we're all still alive. By the skin of our teeth, based on some of our previous encounters, but, you know. Land looks at Ember with sorrow in his eyes. But you're an elf. You should live hundreds of years and never even worry about dying. Little elf girls shouldn't even know such words. When children are thrown in the middle of a war, they learn many sad things. That's why we have to win, so that other boys and girls don't have to learn what we did. Um, so, who are you? We are Crusaders of the Order of the Flaming Lance. Our order dedicates itself to the pursuit of hidden knowledge and magical methods of fighting the demons. We are searching for our leader, Sister Miamir the Scholar. She spent the last few weeks here working day and night on some important research. When the demons attacked the city, we rushed here to find her, but it seems she left the city shortly before the attack began. Smooth. Miamir. Hmm. I don't recall the name, which means her scholarly contribution cannot have been significant. And yet her actions do intrigue me. If the opportunity arises, I would like to find out what experiment she carried out. Um. She just left the city with no word? None. She left in a hurry, without leaving any notes or orders. Why? Uh, I, why? I have no idea. The only thing that may serve as a clue is this book, the one she was studying. He holds out a leather-bound tome to me. My company of worn-out words, the songs of a crusader. Um, her note mentions something about a stone book belonging to the druids of old Sarkoris. What does that mean? Stone books? The druids of old Sarkoris used sacred trees as books. They carved their secret knowledge on the bark. When the demons came, the druids resorted to a dark ritual that turned the trees to stone and the druids themselves into undead, doomed to guard their stone library grove forever. We have undead druids. Fantastic. But that happened far from here, in the stone wilds. Is it possible that's where Miamir went? Or maybe she found one of those trees somewhere nearby? I don't know. How'd you get trapped? The traitor met us at the door. He seemed a faithful and passionate crusader, and we didn't suspect a thing until they attacked us from behind and knocked us out. We didn't expect such trickery. Most of our order, most of our order brethren are dead. We were desperate to believe that this man in armor was a fellow crusader, a comrade. While we were unconscious, they removed our armor and tossed us on the pyre of books. What a macabre blasphemy. Who's that elf? Huh? Yeah, yeah, we, we asked if he's a crusader. No, he's not a crusader. He calls himself the storyteller, and he only recently arrived in Canabras. We often saw him in the library. He was interested in the writings about early Sarkoris and the era before that. It seems the traitor caught him in the library and decided to kill him along with the rest of us. 
His voice drops to a polite murmur. Have you noticed that the storyteller is a little odd? Even for Canabras, where you can meet the strangest people from the farthest corners of the globe among the Crusaders. Have you ever seen such a decrepit elf before? Not just old, but ancient, with a gray beard like that. Elves don't tend to grow beards, I thought, and, and they don't have wrinkles. <laughs> An elf with wrinkles and a beard. A detestable absurdity. Hold on there. A beard isn't the worst thing a person can have growing on their face. You should see some of the people back in my village. W we did, Lan. I guess maybe he's talking to the Crusader. Anyway. The worst thing that's growing on your face is your mouth. Please try to open it a little less often. This is one of those weird things where it feels like, are they going to hook up? It feels like they're going to hook up. Um, anyway. Lan clenches his teeth and turns away with a wave of his hand. <laughs> nah. Alright. Then go to the Defender's Heart. There's Those who are ready to fight back are gathering. The city still fights? Why, that's incredible news. We will go to our sanctuary, guarded by our Order brothers and sisters. We will bring them to the Defender's Heart. Sweet, I've got some more Crusaders who've joined us, so uh, who have joined the fight whenever the demons inevitably attack Defender's Heart. So that's three groups we have now. Um, I think I've gotten everything at this stage. Is that because that was the? Al I kind of hate leaving the barrel of Alchemist's fire here, but you know. Um, all right, so we've been going for a bit thanks to those stupid random encounters. So if this is a good place to uh, pause the game for a moment and press pause on the video. So um. Thanks for watching. Um, as always, it's appreciated. Uh, feel free to check out the rest of the series. If you haven't already seen what brought Helwig, the last warrior, to this ruined library in the middle of, you know, a burning city, uh, we will catch you next time.